Full time at the Vitality Stadium, Bournemouth 1, Newcastle United 1 and we're going to go through everything. Firstly, if I'm a Bournemouth fan, I am absolutely livid. Newcastle United have gone away with a, with a, with a point and extremely lucky in my opinion. If I'm a Bournemouth fan sat here now, I would be absolutely livid. Absolutely livid. But they scored in the 93rd minute. It got disallowed because it hit that part of his arm. All I can say from my point of view, I'm not being biased. I'm not saying it's a goal or not a goal. I, can't, I, I physically can't say. But the only reason I can see that goal getting not given was because it hit there straight away. If it hit his head, then his arm, it's... 100 million percent not a penalty I mean a handball sorry but the fact that he scored with his arm that's the only reason I can say that's why I think it has been disallowed but I don't think it's worthy of being disallowed I think Bournemouth should be walking away with three points Newcastle United was shocking absolutely shocking from first minute to pause until Kieran Trippier came on which is my of all the news of him recently Newcastle United looked absolutely dreadful and disgraceful in that first half. We are lucky to walk away with a point. Harvey Barnes came on, played very well. Um, said during the week he was frustrated that he didn't start against Southampton. 100 million percent started against Forest or he came for Tottenham. We've got two big games coming up. But I think he came on and, and done quite well. Um, I thought Lewis Hall done quite good when he came on. Um, I thought Lloyd Kelly was quite piss poor to be honest. I'm sick of fucking craft. The, the thing that frustrates me more than anything about that game is we're constantly playing out from the back. We're not good enough to play out from the back, especially with the team we've got. You cannot play out the back with Kraft, Byrne, Lloyd Kelly and Longstaff. You, you, you physically can it. It's impossible. Football doesn't work like that. You cannot pass out the pass out from the back with them players surrounding the areas. You can't. It's physically impossible, right? The big, big boys play off on the back because they've got quality players who know what they're doing, right? We've got good players on the day, right? Today... It wasn't one of them. Nick Pope especially. Oh, with his feet, it's so frustrating. You want to sit there and strangle the bastard? It's like, oh, like the amount of times he brought the ball out from when we had the ball in the halfway line and we passed the back and the keeper just to play it safe. We've got to be more. We've got to be better in them situations. Especially when we're trying to pass off of the back from, from goal kicks, from free kicks. The amount of corners and shit we wasted in that game was, was, was quite bad. But... Overall on the game, our goal, it was a really good goal and like I say, the substitutes, substitutes made it. Good to see Anthony Gordon I am off the mark, he, I think he was really poor in the game, I think he was, he, he was. but then yet yet again, good players tend to have bad games and still, go, and still score goals and that's what happened today with Newcastle. It's one of them games I thought we weren't the best um, by any means but we've got another away game on Wednesday, Tenali's back so... When he starved, fuck knows, but if I'm a Bournemouth fan, I'm fuming f f from the first two games of the season, boys. Um, doesn't look convincing, but you never know. Could change, we'll have to wait and see. Make sure to leave a like, boys, subscribe to the channel, I'll see you all in the next one.